In order to get a full report on how our learners are doing with their training, we'll go to the Reports tab. There are several different things you can do in this tab. Similar to the other tabs in the system, you can click Add and Remove Columns to capture all of the data that you want. Just pull in those fields that you need. So I'll pull in Location, and then I'll also pull in Job Title. You can also view learners in a slightly different way by grouping by certain columns. To do this, just click and hold the column heading and drag it up to where it says drag a column header here to group by that column, and then just drop it in that section. You'll notice it will then group everything by that column heading. So what I've done is group by login. Now if I expand each section, it's the assignments associated with the overhead login. And I can just drag that column back into the view to go back to the original settings. Now up here under Report Options in the Saved Reports drop-down, we've created a few default reports for you, which you can view by clicking on one of them. Since we manually completed some courses earlier, we'll have some data in the All Completed report, so I'll go ahead and select that. I can now select a date range if I want to. I do that by going to the Filter by drop-down, and we have four date options. I can select the date by activation date, assign date, completed date, and due date. I'm going to select assign date. You'll then see we get some additional options. I can set up a custom date range by selecting a from date and a to date, or I can select some of our preset options for current month, previous month, in the past, or in the future. I'm going to select current month and then click Apply Changes. Now this report shows me a list of any training that was assigned this month and is completed. But what if I want this report emailed to me on a regular basis without having to log in every time? No problem. I'll just click Save As and I'll name the report Monthly Completed Report. And click Create Report. Once the report is saved, I have a few more options. By default, the reports you make are private. However, if you have made a report that you think would be beneficial for your other admins to access, you can click Make this report public for other users to access. Now to have the report emailed to me, all I have to do is click the checkbox for Schedule this report to be automatically emailed to me. Then I can select First of every month, First and 15th of every month, or weekly on every, and then I just select a day of the week that I would like it. Okay, I have my settings the way I want, so I'll just click Save. And now I'll get this report exactly the way I formatted it, sent to me on the interval I selected, so I can easily keep track of all of my employees. Another report in this section is the Compliance Report. This report views the data slightly differently than the main report. As you can see, each row is for one user. This report will list all of your users and tell you how many courses are assigned, how many are completed, and if they are compliant. What that means is if they have completed everything that is currently active. This report defaults to show you any course that is currently active. If you'd rather look at the data from a different perspective, you can change the date filter at the top. So let's say you wanted to view the data by how many courses are outstanding that are due at the end of the month. You just select Due Date, and then type in the date for the end of the month, and click Apply Changes. The system will total the number of assignments for each column at the bottom row, and then tell you how many of your users are compliant. If you'd rather view compliance based on the number of courses, just add the total assigned to the total completed, and then divide the total number of completed courses by the full total to get your course compliance percentage. Additionally, if you sort by group, the system will also tell you the compliance percentage for a particular group. The last report you can view is the Training History Import Report. Now let's say your company has been using another online training system or even an in-person paper system for years and you want to have that information stored in our system. This is the page to import that information. 
As the owner, you can dictate what columns are visible on this page. We default to these four fields, but you can delete all of them, or add to them, or just use what we have. It's really up to you. To add a column, just type in what you would need, so we'll type job title, and then click add. Now as you can see, job title is added to the view. Once all of your columns are how you want them, you'll need to fill out your previous training history on an Excel spreadsheet with matching column headings. You'll save that document as a CSV like we did earlier for our learner upload, and then you can upload it here. Once you've uploaded that, all of the information will appear down in the grid, and these fields are searchable. You can filter the data as needed, and then export as needed. These reports will not integrate with our online training on the Reports tab. The purpose of this report is really to store previous information. Ideally, this will be a one-time upload of the data and serve as a single location all of your admins can go to search previous training records as needed. In this video, we have gone over how to customize the look of your LMS, add your users, create groups, assign training, upload your own courses, track offline training, edit assignments, and run reports. I think you're ready to go. Thank you for watching and please do not hesitate to let us know if you have any questions or concerns. You can always reach us Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Time by clicking the Support and Feedback tab at the bottom left or emailing us at support at safetyskills.com or giving us a call toll-free at 1-888-844-3549.